Hey guys, today is Wednesday, so it's my day to make a video. Uh, and I just wanted to start off with a little vlog type thing uh, and tell you about the cubing competition. Let me bring up the results real fast. Um, what we did is me and Michelle, uh, if you didn't see our, uh, well, what do you want to call it, our vlog that we did. Um, we went up to Colorado Springs and uh, went to the Colorado Springs Open. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, driving wasn't all that great, but once we got up there, we got to meet um, Patrick Kelly and AJ Blair and Jackson Worley, um, Taylor Noyce, Brad, Donovan, Ben, all these cool guys that we really look, look up to. And we just got to meet them, and it was a lot, a lot of fun. Um, I made finals for 3x3 three three and 2x2. Two two, um, and I ended up in 7th for 3x3, 7th for 2x2. Two two. I got 9th uh, in the first round for 4x4, four four, which is actually pretty good. Um, I had a 202 average. 5x5, um, five five, I got 7th with a 546 single and a 630 um, which what they did is they gave you two solves and if the first two were under three and a half you could finish your average of five but mine were obviously uh, 545 and 630 but that was better than anybody else the um, yeah everybody else was like six and seven six and six yeah so mine was overall the best um, uh, I didn't do blindfold, one-handed. Um, I got tenth. Uh, I, I had I DNF twice, so it was a DNF average. But I got a one of three single, which is like really good for me. Um, I didn't do Mega Minx, and for Pure Minx, I actually did pretty good. I got I ended up with sixth. Yeah, sorry, it's right behind the camera. Um, Ended up with sixth with a 1391 single and a 27.35 average, which was actually really good for me because I hadn't practiced pyramids like ever. Uh, so that was really fun, and it, it was just a great, great, fun tournament. We ended up going out to dinner and got some cool stuff. So I sold like ninety dollars in puzzles, um, which now I have more money for other cubes that I want to get. So. Um, while I was there in 2x2, two two, I was using C Friedrichs or CFOP uh, adapted to 2x2. Two two. Um, this is my land land. Uh, and I averaged, like, I had a 1096 and a 90 something. Um, which is really good for me because I was averaging like 12 before I left. But um, I wanted to learn Ortegan. I've been wanting to learn for a while. And I hadn't, I just hadn't found a good tutorial or review, uh, written out something. I just hadn't found a good one. Uh, Michelle, or Bobo, uh, knew it, but not very well. Um, so after the tournament, we ended up staying up to like 3 in the morning, uh, learning Ortega. Um, I average sub 10 now, and it's a lot of fun. And I thought that I would show you guys some tips and tricks on what to do because it's it's ridiculously easy but to get used to it and to understand how easy it is you need to someone has to show you and I thought I'd show you guys what I do and what we call our cases and such um, so that it's easier to uh, recognize so let's get right into that okay guys so I'm gonna start off by explaining to you what um, Ortega is exactly um, if you haven't noticed, it is a 2x2 two two method. Uh, it is a really easy method uh, to learn, uh, especially if you use uh, OLL and PLL on 3x3. Three three. Uh, it, it's there, All you need to really learn are three new algorithms. And uh, it's actually really simple. You'll, hopefully you'll understand when I'm done explaining. So first I'm going to give you an example solve, and I'll, I'll explain to you what I'm doing. And then I'm going to go through each OLL case and each XLL case, which is 
uh, what they're called. So um, what you do to start is you need to create a face on the bottom. It doesn't matter what color you can do. It's whatever one's the most solved. Um, I'm going to go with yellow. Um, and you can see I have one here. So I'm going to set it up and then I'm going to insert it. Just like you do an F2L. Um, then I'm going to do a OLL. Uh, I'm going to orient the, all the black pieces up. Okay, now I have black up and yellow down. Um, I'm going to. Now here's an XLL case. So. And it solves the whole puzzle. Okay, so that that's the pretty much the basis of it. There are six, seven, seven OLL cases and six XLL cases. And I'll go through and I'll tell you the algorithms. The algorithms will be placed, put in the description, so you guys can see. Um, hopefully, I'll have them up on the screen for you. Also, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, let's go through OLL first. The first one, uh, one of the more common ones that you'll end up with, this is called Bruno. Uh, you don't know what Bruno is. It, uh, it is this. It's this uh, cross with the headlights and the uh, wheelbarrow arms. Uh, a lot of people call it Bruno, so I'm, I didn't. I'm not taking credit for making that up. Um, the algorithm is going to be in the description, but I use R U two R two U prime R two U prime R two U two R, and that solves it. Um, I'll put that into this description, so don't worry about it. Um, and that, that solves the Bruno case. Uh, it's the same thing as on here. So, it's quite simple. There's another better one that you can use um, that I will also put in the description. But I haven't learned that one yet, so I use, I use the Bruno uh, algorithm. The next uh, OLL you'll end up getting is uh, double headlights. It's same as this. Um, and instead of the normal triple sexy move, there is another algorithm for the 2x2 two two, uh, that's a lot easier and a lot faster. Um, so here I'll show you that. It's R2, U2, R, U2, R2, and then U, or whatever. Um, the next OLL you can get is the typical soon. Um, it looks like the fish with the piece facing towards you on the right. Um, and you solve it just like soon. So it's R U R prime U R U two R prime. Just like that. The next OLL you can get is uh, anti soon. And there's two ways that I do this algorithm depending on where the piece is placed. Uh, if the piece is right here and I have it in front, I do the same thing as soon, except for with my left hand. So it's L prime, U prime, L, U prime, L, prime, U2, L. And that solves it. The same thing as on here. Like that. The next one, and then the other way I do it is, um, I put it up here. And it's R, U2, R prime, U prime, R, U, R, U prime, R prime. Okay, the next OLL you can get is, um, it looks the same as this T. Uh, it works the same way. It has the headlights up front and the two pieces right here. Um, so you hold it on your right side. And then you go F, R, U, R prime, U prime. F prime. Okay, the next uh, OLL you can get is uh, this T, and it it's the one with the bars on the side. Um, 
and it has the two pieces up here and the two sides just like right here um, and you're gonna solve it like this you're gonna go R U R prime U prime so sexy move and then you're gonna sledgehammer um, which is a team blind notation but it's R prime F R F prime the next algorithm you can get uh, is on um, three by three. Uh, I call it bow tie. Uh, it looks like this, uh, but also uh, it is the same algorithm as this one. Um, this so this is the algorithm you're going to end up doing with the two bars. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to place the two pieces right here, uh, right, right front corner and back left, and then you're going to have the, um, one of the green pieces facing towards you and one to your right. And the algorithm is F, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, F prime. And that's all of your OLL cases. Um, you should know all of those for 3x3. Three three. The only difference is the um, double headlights. Uh, but that shouldn't be that hard to learn. It took me like 5 minutes. And then also the Bruno case. Um, there is another algorithm. I'll put it in the description. But uh, I don't use it yet because I have not learned it. So... Uh, next, we will move on to the XLL cases. Okay, XLL. So after you have your first layer done, and you uh, you orientate your top level, you'll end up with one of six cases. Um, the first one I'm going to show you is, most people know it as a T-perm. Um, there are many, many, many algorithms that you can use to solve this. It's a two-edge swap. Um, so you can use a T perm, you can use a J perm, you can use an R perm, you can use an L perm, you can use another J perm. Um, I know, I think I know six algorithms for this. You can use, oh, there's, there's so many things you can uh, do to solve this. Um, sometimes after you've orient, oriented the top layer level, it'll end up like this. Um, so, or whatever like that so what you need to do is if you see this top level is oriented flip the cube over match it up and depending on where it is, is the algorithm that you'll use um, if it's here I'll use my L perm like this uh, if it's here I'll either use this J perm or I can use a T perm like this. Um, if it's here in the back, I will, and I have a solid bar here and uh, messed up in the front, I will either I will use my um, L perm for the back, and it's like this. That's not the fastest one, but you can also use an R perm like this. And that was, it swatch whips these two edges and these two corners. You can also use this one. It's just all personal preference, really. Uh, where, where is it and which one do you want to do? But that is the two edge swap. Uh, the next one you can get, which isn't as common, but uh, does pop up sometimes, is a Y perm. So you'll use your Y perm algorithm. Um, and you put the messed up block so how these two are correct, you put the messed up one right here and this is the same as that bow tie, uh, the first part, so you're gonna go F, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, F prime and then now you have the T so R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R, F prime and that solves that. Here is another case you can get uh, this one I call towers. Uh, I came up with this. Um, 
yeah, so this is called Towers. You can call it Blocks, whatever you want to call it. Um, but, yeah. So, you have... It's hard to explain. Uh, you have these opposite colors are away from each other. And you have the matching colors here. You can also have flags, uh, which is, or checkers, which is you have top and bottom solved and you have just opposites on each side. Uh, the algorithm for this is really, really simple. Uh, I mean, it's three moves. Uh, so if you have flags, do a U2, get it back into here, and then it'll go R2, F2, R2. See how simple that was? The next case you can get is sort of like towers, but you have a full block in the back. Uh, so th this whole side is solved, and this is all messed up. Um, so you're going to hold it in the front. Uh, with the two matching blocks in the back. Uh, this is called Disco. I have to... I can't take credit for that name. Uh, that one is from Michelle or Bobo and then Dumber Boob. Uh, they are the masters behind the names uh, of this one. They call it Disco. Um, I'm not exactly sure why but it works. Uh, so this is disco, is when you have two solved uh, bars in the back and it's messed up in the front. And the algorithm for this is R2, U, F2, U2, R2, U, R2. The next XLO case is called 7. Um, uh, so what happens is you have a 2 by one block on the top and you have nothing no blocks on the bottom uh, you'll have pair that matches up to make it a three to make it a corner so you're gonna make it look like a seven the algorithm is really simple um, it's R U prime R F2 now all you have to do is reverse that R prime U prime U R. Sorry about that. The next XLO case is called L. Um, as you can see why, there's an L right there. So what you have is you have a 2 by one block on the bottom and nothing on top. Uh, you'll match it up. So you'll match this purple, in my case, up with here. And then you'll... The algorithm is L, D prime L... F2, L prime, D, L prime. Okay, uh, if you guys were counting, uh, that was six XLO cases. That's all you need. Uh, seven, seven, L, Bruno, Towers, T, and Y. That's it. Six. Uh, but what happens is they aren't always set up exactly like that. Um, for example, you get this I call snakes. Don't ask me why I just came up with it when me and Bubble were hanging out. Okay, uh, so if you can see, you have a tower right here and two heads. Um, it kind of looks like a snake. Uh, yeah, I, I just call it snakes. Um, but really what this is is Bruno, uh, or Disco, Disco. Did I say Bruno before? I might have. I meant Disco. L7 Disco YT and Towers. Um, real simple. But this is Disco. So what you do is you'll have a block here and a block here. You're going to put them together and then do it from the front. So I'll do Disco. See how it's just not oriented right? Boom. That's all. The other kind of snakes you can get are opposite snakes. I um, mean, like, so you have your black uh, backward 7 and your yellow backwards L. Um, 
And this again is Disco. It's just opposite uh, snakes. Uh, so you're going to match them up and do Disco. See how it comes out opposite? And you do a U2 and that solves it. Okay, um, so that's everything uh, for Ort Ortega. Pretty dang simple. Um, now I'm just going to give you uh, some extra little tips on F2L, or inserting your corners. Uh, instead of, like what I used to do is I used to do a sexy move uh, three times, and that puts that on the bottom. Uh, but that's long. Um, when in reality, if you have it on this uh, right corner, all you have to do is you put it in the back, you do an F2, see how it matches it up, you do a U, and you put it back down. Um, let's show you that again. Or, or you can do it, uh, put it in the back corner here, do an R2, a U, and an R2, and that puts it underneath. Um, another tip is if you have it here, actually if you have, so you have a, a slot on the bottom and you need to put this one and this one in. Instead of putting it in, turning it, and putting it in, watch, boom, it puts it together and you put it on bottom. And finally my last real trick for you guys is uh, you have to put this into this slot down here. So it's R, U prat R, um, rather than like that, pick it up, put it down. Uh, pretty simple, uh, there's not really much to Ortega, so I guess um, I'll leave you guys with an average of 5 of me using Ortega. Okay guys, so this is the Nami, my average of five. Um, again, this is my land land. Ooh, sorry about that. Okay, so that was my average five, uh, eight eighty five. 
So yeah, I'm sub 10 with this Ortega. It's really easy to learn. Um, yeah, so everything's in the description that you need to know. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.